With more than 8 million social media users in Ghana, it is expected information on COVID-19 vaccination will be readily accessible through these portals. But that is not the case. In a new joint study by the KNUST School of Public Health, University of Development Studies and IRIS Research Consortium, the study found close to 60% of over 2,000 correspondents heard information on COVID-19 vaccination through the traditional media. On Tech Thursday today, Joy News medical correspondent Dr. Netta Pasram speaks with one of the lead scientists, Dr. John Amosi of the School of Public Health, KNUST. All of media and other information sources on information dissemination cannot be underestimated. The researchers therefore analyzed the role of information sources on vaccine hesitancy. Though it was an online study, the researchers found the larger number of respondents obtained their information through traditional media. Uh, whether pe where people had heard of uh, COVID-19 vaccination and overwhelmingly, and this is really important, majority got it from uh, regular media, especially television. This was about 58, close to 60 percent. Social media was just about 30 percent. We should tell you that, and, and this is an online survey, so it should tell you that uh, in the general population that may not have had access to this online survey, most likely that uh, traditional media sources would have been the way they heard about it. So I should tell you, we, 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 sometimes there's too much emphasis on social media, social media, but that may only target a certain section of the population. And so it's really important that we take advantage of our traditional radio, uh, TV, uh, newspapers, and, and all that to push the message uh, forward um, to, to people. Despite the wide use of social media, traditional media is still in vogue. Reporting for Joy News, Dr. Netta Pashram.